all on the side. to Crater Lake National Park. We're actually staying in the park. Our site is really big, and despite being really yeah. big, very difficult to get into. It was the hardest <clears throat> pull through I've seen yet. Yeah, there's not enough, there's not enough space to make the turn. So yeah. it, uh, it was a little troublesome, but we're in it now and we're all unhooked and fairly level. So everything's good. We're here for three nights. Yeah. And excited to see what Crater Lake has to offer. So we are staying on the edge of a cliff. Maybe not the edge of a cliff, but the edge of a mountain. We are at the Menzada campground. And um, it's great, except for there are no hookups. Surprise! We forgot. <laughs> we forgot that we scheduled that. But it's happening. Like James said, we're going to get a crash course in boondocking. So. Maggie, quit. <laughs> Hey, look at that. <laughs> We've put some water in the tank and the water pump appears to be working. So we're a little bit better set up to boondock than we were when we did harvest house in Canada. And it's a little cooler here, so hopefully it goes a little better because it's more than one night, it's three nights, and we'll see how we make it. I love the newspapers that they give us at these national parks. And like one of the first times Jamie was like, no, nah, we don't need a newspaper. And I was like, yes, we do. That's a fun fact about Hillary. Here are some fun facts about Crater Lake. So Crater Lake is the deepest lake in the US. And then the water is so clean. As far as large bodies of water go, it is the cleanest water in the world. It was made from a volcano. We're actually staying here at Manzana Camp. Manzana Mountain is the volcano that exploded. There was so much ash in the air when it did. It was enough ash to actually um, layer over all of the state of Oregon eight inches of ash. I thought that was crazy. So there is a trolley that runs around Crater Lake and it takes about two hours to do that. Also, if you do the rim drive across around the whole lake, um, it's 33 miles, which actually isn't that big compared to a lot of the national parks that you might go to. They do have some pet friendly hikes. We're gonna take Maggie on some of those tomorrow. We're also pretty close to Bend, Oregon. And so we think we're gonna hit it up. Stay tuned because Cascade Lakes is also along the way and we're gonna wanna check that out because it looks pretty beautiful.
made it to Watchman Tower. So this is the Watchman Overlook. It's a little less than a mile hike up to this point uh, where you can see over Crater Lake. This actually has a watchtower that is still used by the parks to uh, watch for fires. So it's a pretty cool little outlook up here. Uh, definitely a great little hike to do. Garfield's Peak. It's super quiet and peaceful and there's one other person here with us and we're all just enjoying this amazing view. I feel like this might be the best view of Crater Lake. You can see Phantom Ship, which a lot of people don't catch, um, and then you can also see um, Watchman's Island, I think is what it's called. Um, so it's really beautiful. <laughs> So we are on the lookout for some dog friendly trails here in Crater Lake. We've got Maggie with us. This first one is the Godfrey Glen Trail. It's actually named after a former park chief park ranger who died under mysterious circumstances during a blizzard here. I'm pretty sure I heard it was from during a blizzard. Or he was not eating a so blizzard while he was here. Mysterious, but <laughs> We're not sure. We're not sure, guys, but I think it's really neat that they named it in honor of him. That was in November 1930, and he died under mysterious circumstances. <laughs> across the way. It's so crazy. You can literally see it. And we knew we were on an edge of a mountain, like kind of like an edge of a cliff, a canyon. And we're like, wow, that's really cool. We just had no idea that we would see it as we're hiking. It's so cool. cool it really looks like it looked like a lady crying yeah a naked lady so well it's art it's, it's fine so i am working on re-wallpapering this wall um when we left the rv in storage um it got pretty hot in dallas some of it just kind of melted off or just kind of like rolled off i'm putting it back on there a new fresh coat um and it's just some little things that I mean, I've only been meaning to do this for a month. What you doing? We found out that the release valves for both our black and gray tank, there's holes there around where the valve pulls in and out. We think that might be where the mice are getting in. Patching that with some steel wool that will hopefully keep the mice out. To do that, I'm here on the ground in the dirt and right by where the tanks dump, which is right here by my face. <laughs> Tune in next episode where we talk about how I have pink eye. <laughs> <laughs>
we have ventured outside of Crater Lake and we came up to Bend, Oregon and we're gonna have a really dog friendly day. As you can see, it's really wet. We're gonna run some errands, we're gonna go to some cool places and hopefully still get to involve Maggie as much as possible, but we might not be outside as much as we thought today. So um, let's go to Walmart. Still have mice in the trailer. So we're gonna take a couple more measures. We bought glue traps, to trap and kill the mice. I think we did plug up the holes, but may have trapped the mice inside. We also are gonna try this repellent. We'll see how that works. I don't know what this does, other than maybe makes you feel better because you plugged it in and spent some money on it, but we're gonna have a try. And new lamb chops for Maggie, because apparently it's what we spend half our money on. <laughs> Maggie and I are stuck in a downpour. Maggie. She does not like the thunder. It's a lot of thunder and lightning, a little bit of hail, and Maggie's not feeling it. So I'm gonna try to get her back to the truck where she feels a little safer and see how that works for us. But uh, yeah, lunch has been interesting. <laughs> Update, Maggie and I made it to the truck okay. Hillary stayed back drinking beer. It was great. <laughs> so, we're finding out the sun shining. Go figure. This has not been a very dog friendly day. No, we've uh, ran Maggie back to the truck twice. Once yeah. in the pouring rain and once right before it. I know, we keep trying to like take her to dog friendly places and it doesn't seem to matter just because it's, it's so wet and it's making her so nervous. There's a lot of thunder and lightning and so yeah. that scares her a lot. So yeah. That's not been good for her. So we're off to a coffee shop just to get a little Wi-Fi in because yeah. we need a little. Yeah. And then we may go down ca to Cascade Lakes and see what lakes. I don't know, we'll see. So we found a coffee shop called the Looney Bean and it has a great view of the river and it's dog friendly. <laughs> Maggie did not get to enjoy that, but it is dog friendly. And um, they had good Wi-Fi, so we were able to get some stuff done. So yeah. There's an interesting mix today. You've got rain and then a lot of heat and we've seen a ton of steam rising off of picnic tables and roads and even the gravel up here. It's kind of interesting. Welcome to Todd Lake. set out four glue traps 
to catch mice and all of them were successful at catching mice. One of them has disappeared completely. So I don't know if an army of mice carried that one off or not. Jamie keeps wanting to show me photos and video of the mice that he caught. I know that my stomach has been in knots for three nights listening to them. I, from experience, know that I will hurl if I see them. Just awesome fun first thing to have in the morning. And just like that, we are off to California. California. I'm so excited because I've only kind of been there like in a layover on a plane. So I'm like so excited to go. We've never been to the Redwoods. We're gonna go check those out. So that is what is next on the agenda. Hopefully, we've really taken care of some mice. I don't know how many could be in there. Hundreds. I'm, oh, <laughs> that's so terrifying. <laughs> I'm just hoping we've sealed it up and there's only a few more, if any, or none. Tune into the podcast and we'll fully describe our <laughs> nights of terror. Uh -huh. And uh, we'll talk about the thunderstorms in Ben. How Maggie survived it. She did not <laughs> like that. Maggie was not a big fan. Crater Lake has been great. Um, it's been a lot of fun being here. Really cool to see. Yeah, it's a little tricky without hookups for three days. It was kind of a long time, but the weather made it doable. We are getting worn out, but we're gonna keep doing this because I just, I think it's gonna pay off. And yeah, we're gonna keep doing it because life is short. Wonder well. Mm -hmm.